please build your home. We have a beautiful country. I have to speak from that place to this place. Always 20 people are having their passports. Where are you going? It is good. You go on holiday and come back. God bless you indeed. God bless you indeed. This is Timothy Prophet one more time. I'm coming in after a while. Of course, we've not been doing consistent episodes, but I think by this week we are going to start off in consistent episodes. And we are also working on something like when I'm not around, someone else will be doing the episodes as they come around to it. Now, if you've been keen for the last short while, Mm, the last short while, you will discover that I've been handling uh, themes at the topic of uh, national leadership in relationship to the national prophets that God has appointed within that same time, especially during the elections. I handled about Kenya, I handled about Uganda, East Africa, I handled about uh, another one, yeah, Nabi Namibia. Uh, go check it with uh, the, the playlist. You will find all these things in there. Now, today I just want to talk about the prophetic grace upon Mama Prophetess Evelyn Joshua. Now, it's coming out openly. It's not a surprise because I've been speaking about it every other episode that are passed by, recent episodes so far that the prophetic grace upon Mama Evelyn is powerfully, powerfully kindling in a different level. Well, it's not just kindling. It's, it has been there. It has been there. That, that, that prophetic office, it has been there. So on the last Sunday, 12th March 2022, on a live service, she came out and was in giving instruction, a national instruction for the Nigerians to come out and obey that instruction. I don't want to say that. I want the video that I'll be playing here now to speak about it. Uh, she is a prophet. I mean, I don't even want to say prophetess. She is a prophet. And this is a gift that many people have been waiting for. Some will say, oh, you need a prophet. You need prophetesses. You are not going to need. You are not going to wait. She is the prophet that God has placed over Squan. She has been there. And God is not a, a, a confusion author. author of co Praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nigerians, where are you running to? Where are you running to? Who will build your home for you? If every one of us decide to run out. In midst of five people, four people are having their passports. They have their green passport, they want to run away. Where are you going? Always know that the grass is what? Greener at the other side. Please build your home. We have a beautiful country. I have to speak from that place to this place. Always 20 people are having their passports. Where are you going? It is good. You go on holiday and come back. I don't have the intention of running away. This is our home. We have to stand and build this house together. Wait, Lord, you must pray and witness beyond this crisis. Beyond this crisis, Nigeria is beautiful. So your prayer now is that you should witness it so that this crisis will not take you away. That is why there is crisis. If the future of this country is nothing to write home about, you will not explain what you are explaining. This country is going to be a giant nation. No.